हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो दिस इज द लास्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ टुडेस कॉन्टेस्ट एंड ऑन दी बाइन एंड ऑन दी बाउंड्री बाय द रिसर्चरी कुल द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट एन एंड इज ऑन दी बाउंड्री लेट्स नेम दैट बाउंड्री एज अ जीरो ओके सो एंड इज जस्ट ट्रैवलिंग लेफ्ट एंड राइट एंड ही और शी इज इनिशियली एट द बाउंड्री नाउ इट समटाइम्स गोस लेफ्ट एंड समटाइम्स राइट एज यू कैन सी ओके दिस इज द बाउंड्री Let's imagine this as a simple coordinate system, and aunt is initially at the zero coordinate, which means at the origin. Now it can go left or right. Now it says that you are given an array of non-zero integers nums. The aunt starts reading nums from the first element to the end, which means it's a num from the i equal to zero to i equal to n, like n n minus one. I'll start reading those values of nums. At each step, it moves according to the value of the current element. Which means if my nums of i is less than zero, so I will move left by nums of i units. Say okay, I will move if my initially let's say if let's say if my nums of i is three, or saying if it is minus three. So I know I have to move left and three distance. So I can simply say I will be at a new position which is minus three from the current position. And the same way, if it is positive, let's say if it is four, so I will move right. Four units, so I will be at four new location. Now we have to return the number of times the aunt returns to the boundary. Again, boundary we have imagined it as a origin. So how many times aunt will come to origin? For example, in the problem here, you know that aunt will start off from zero. It will go two distance, okay. Then it will go three distance. Okay, then it will come minus five distance. Okay, now you see it has come back to the boundary for the first time, and your array is finished. So, aunt came back to boundary just one time. So, if I ask you how will you solve it, as you can simply see what is happening. You started off from a zero, then when you encountered a two, you landed on to a coordinate as two. You simply added zero plus two, you got a two. Then you again went on three distance from two. Then you added a three. You reached onto a new coordinate, which is five. Now from five, I went on negative direction, minus five. So on five, I added a minus five. I reached onto a zero. And you remember, zero was a boundary. So I can simply go on and keep on adding. Okay, I mean initially I am at zero. Now I am at two. Now I am at five. Now I am at zero. So you can see I am just kind of doing a prefix sum and. Number of times I will get my zero back. Number of times I'll get my zero back. That is the number of times I am actually encountering my boundary back. So in this case, I am initially at zero. I will reach to a three, right? I'll reach to a three. Then I'll reach to my five, right? After two, then I will do a minus three. So I'll reach to my two backwards. Then I'll do a minus four. So I'll reach to my minus two. So you will see, never I ever reach to a zero again. So I never reach to my boundary ever. So answer is a zero. So I'll do the exact same thing. I'll just keep track of the sum and number of times my sum becomes zero. I'll increase my answer. Answer is the count of number of times I am reaching at the boundary. And boundary is a zero for me because I'm starting from the zero itself. And thus, ultimately, you can just simply return the count. It's simply a O of n time. Time is simply O of n, and space is nothing but O of one. And that's how you can simply solve this algorithm. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.